Hello there and hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So first things first that is you need two carbo sheets, one big one small. Uh, the small one depends on what kind of size you want the frame to. Take a normal cello tape and wrap it on the cardboard completely. Make sure you cover the whole sides as well and just wrap it completely on back and forth. Now here's our material, the fevicryl mold it. Mix it completely, use both your hands, try to roll it until it gets completely white. Only take required amounts. Now spread your mold it completely on the bigger cardboard sheet. You can use the sedative roll so that it gets smoothened away completely and you can get a smooth finish like this. And now place your small cardboard sheet on top of this and you can get a measurement of how, you, how big you want the clay frame to be. And you can use a spatula to cut it. In case if you don't have a spatula, you can use a scale. And now you can see we have got the measurement. Make sure that you keep a little bit uh, bigger size than compared to the small cardboard plank. You can see over here. Don't make it too thin. If you make it too thin, when you're removing it, it might break. And you know since that uh, this material does not stick to plastic. And hence we have used it and you can also see that it has become completely hard. I have kept it to dry for around now more than 2 hours. This step after the whole clay has completely dried out. Now you can see uh, that you take a new clay and then place it completely over the borders. So while covering the clay make sure that you don't make the outer layer too much thin so that whenever you are removing it, it does not come out or does not break. You can give any shape you want over here and you can give it any design. It depends but at start I would recommend using a simple shape so that you can get an idea of what you are making. And now you can use a spatula to give a shape to it. There are high chances that the clay might come off during this step since you are doing this for the first time. But don't need to panic because this is something which requires way less time. So you can again remake this. So don't need to worry about it. So I am just trying to give a proper shape to this. They are high. Again, since you are doing it for the first time, you might not get this precise. but. It's completely fine, just get it any way you want because it's gonna look good anyways. I also covered the top layer over here so that it looks like a complete frame. You can choose not to do that, depends on you. And also given a color and also given a wood texture. Now since this clay does not stick to plastic, you can easily remove it and as you can see that it has been easily removed and now I'm just trying to remove this inner part, inner cardboard can be a little bit difficult to do that to, you have to apply a gentle but a little tough force don't use too much force or that might break as you can see the top layer has broken but it's completely fine now because then later i can just glue it up and now it's ready and i'll just do the final color finishing over here and here it is i also added some varnish on it so that it gets a good shine you can use normal acrylic colors for this it's completely fine and at the back I added some little bit of clay, you can add it later. I had got some prints before but they didn't work out that much but yes, you can surely use any of your photos and if you have any old photos then you can create a frame with respect to that photo as well depending on what size of that photo is. And also I created this small painting right now just to keep it inside so that you can get an idea how it will look. So you can create many types of designs, any type of design you want, you can do any type of customization on, on this as you want, you can also add any characters on this as you want. And if you do, just tag me at the recipe creations, I would love to see your artworks.